So, guess what this is? So this is the Solo Loop Band from Apple. So I bought this about two years ago. And I just wanted to make a little update video. Because um, I think when most people look at this kind of thing, they don't really think it's gonna last. Because when people look at this kind of thing, this kind of material, I know it's made by Apple. I know it's about $49, 50 pounds. But I don't think people really think it's gonna last for two plus years using it quite a lot, almost every day. Um, I alternate between this and another band, so not quite every day, but a lot. And the questions I've been asked, I've been getting asked, you know, since I made my first video on this is, um, well, how's it held up? So I think if you look at just like aesthetically, I have some B-roll in here, but aesthetically, if you look at it, it's pretty much the same. And what you can see though is the, on the edges, there's like darkening in. So it's, I don't know if really that's on purpose, but it's almost like a wet patch. You can see that, right? On the edges. So it's like slightly dark on the edges and like dry in the middle. That's been there since, not quite the first day I got it, but soon after that. In terms of like the looseness, you know, has it become loose? Or like, is it, nah, this is, I don't know how they do it, but yeah, it's, it's still, it still fits the way it's supposed to. So this is a size nine. It, it, it hasn't like gotten loose over time, like you might expect it to. It still fits, still fits perfectly. I don't really see it getting any like worse wear and tear wise. So yeah, I, I, it's, it's been pretty solid. Now how does this compare to, you know, what, right now I'm wearing this one. But in terms of how these two compare, I think the good thing about this one is it's adjustable. So if you need it tighter, obviously you can do that. The bad thing about this, even though it hasn't gotten looser, really, I would say if, for example, you're doing like quite intense exercise and you sweat, it can move around a bit. So it can move around when it's on your wrist a bit. Whereas if you have something like this, you can just tighten it if, if you feel things moving around. So. I think overall, I have to be honest, overall, having a adjustable <laughs> strap is, you know, go figure, is actually very, very useful. And um, this kind of one size fits, well not one, it's not one size to be fair, there's many sizes, but having something that's not adjustable, I mean, there's a simplicity to this that I like, you know, this is where I got it. Um, but practicality wise, I think it does make sense you know, having a strap. Now, is this better for something like, you know, not being robbed or theft or <clears throat> something like that? I don't know, to be honest. I mean, look, in a way, yes, because right, someone could do that, but then they still have to do all this to, to, and then take, like, that's a long process in itself. But saying that, if this is on your hand, yeah, nobody can like rip it off. It's very difficult to rip it off with one hand. Um, so that was a bit of a tangent, but essentially I can see there's some being some utility to it being like one loop, but at the same time, I think you do miss out on the fact that you can't adjust it. Um, and you know, depending on like sometimes the weather, you know, I mean, when I say the weather, I mean sweating. It's not expanding because of the weather, just like if you're sweating or something. It could be useful. So would I buy this again? So after two years, it's looking good. I think, you know, well, it's looking all right. I, I don't really like this. So I guess I know it's hard to see. So if I just hide my eyes a little bit. Now you can see it more. I don't like that stuff here. You see, it's like almost two-tone. So it's dark on the edges and light in the middle. I think you see it better there. So after two years, would I buy this again? Now, Maybe. I, I looked into, <laughs> I looked into the um, the braided solo loop, but there's just something about that. I just can't justify spending a hundred pounds on that braided solo loop. I really, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, but I wanna also, you know, check, um, stay tuned to this channel. I, I wanna test this with the Apple Watch Ultra as well, because apparently this will fit on the Apple Watch Ultra. 
Um, so that could change my mind, but in terms of buying another one, but I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd buy another one. Uh, I'm glad I got the black. I don't know what white would have done. I don't know how this would have looked like in white. This edges, these kind of two tone, you can see it. I don't know how that would have looked like in white. I don't know if that would turn yellow or something. Um, so I'm glad I got it in black because, you know, it's pretty understated in, in, in terms of the mess it's kind of made. Not the mess, but you know, the little, the strip I'm talking about. I'm glad I got it in black, but I probably wouldn't buy this one again. I am have, I do have my eye on the, um, the Ultra. So the Ultra, I think it's called a Trail Loop. Um, but that one sold out everywhere. Um, the Apple Watch Ultra I got was with the, uh, I can't remember. It's the one that has like the climbing hook um, on it, which is the one, the least popular one, but that's the only one that was available. But I'm looking at maybe getting a trail solo loop. So, you know, we'll see. But at the same time, all of these fit the Apple Watch Ultra. So I might just not, I would not get that. We'll see. But yeah, long story short, this is, I think it was a decent purchase. It's been durable. It works really well. I think in a, in a dark color, it's preferable uh, because of the issue with the weird two-tone thing. If you can see it here. Yeah. Almost like, it looks like it's dry in the middle and wet on the edges. So yeah, I would say if you're getting it in a dark color, I think that's fine. It's very comfortable. Feels good in the skin. Uh, feels like you're wearing nothing. Uh, well, that's the advantage of that over the um, ones with the straps. Uh, but yeah, so overall, decent. Um, if you get rid of this, I keep showing it, but if they got rid of that, I would say, yeah, perfect. But, you know. Decent purchase. Hopefully that helped somebody somewhere because I know at Apple Watch season, everyone's looking at Apple Watch, Apple Watch, Apple Watch. And I'm sure somebody is wondering, should I spend 49 pounds on a solo loop band? Will it last? Well, there's your answer. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me. And I'll catch you in the next one.